The nine box grid is one of the more interesting tools used in human resources and talent management. And today I'm going to show you how you can conduct a nine box grid analysis inside Microsoft Teams. But before we get there, let's have a brief conversation on what exactly a nine box grid is and how it can help your team. As the name would suggest, the nine box grid is a grid with nine boxes in it, and it is commonly used to visualize an employee's performance and potential. So why should you give the nine box grid a try? Well, it is a great way to identify the key talent in your organization. It is also an incredible succession planning tool, and it is a really good way to start and end your mentorship programs. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into Microsoft Teams, and let me show you how you can use TeamFleck to conduct a nine box grid analysis. Now, we'll be approaching this through the point of view of a manager. And right here, we're inside TeamFleck Performance Reviews module. And here are the October performance reviews that I sent out. Let's go into Adele's performance review. She's already finalized it. Now, on the left, you can see Adele's self-review. And on the right, you can see my input. This is the classic TeamFleck Performance Review template format. And if we scroll down, you can see that we have an area for 360 degree feedback. And right here are the review results. Now, here are the points allocated by the manager. And here is the final result. And you can see the overall comments and the private comments right here. But this is what we're here for, the nine box grid. It already comes integrated into the performance review template. And I've marked Adele as a key talent. Now, that's how easy it is to use the nine box grid inside TeamFlex performance review templates. But here's something really cool. You can customize all of these boxes inside the nine box grid. To do that, I'm gonna go into the admin center. And inside the admin center, I go into the reviews and look, I'm clicking configure nine box template. And now I can change the text inside the grid. Now let's replace this with core employee, click save and we're done. That's how easy it is. And we're back inside the review. Now, once you've completed your nine box grid, you're pretty much done with the review as well. And you have two options. You can either finalize the review right then and there, or you can start a discussion and go over the review itself with your employee before finalizing it. And let's take a look at one of those discussions and see what it looks like. I'm clicking home and the meeting is already here. The performance review discussion with Adele. I'm joining in. Now, this is a pretty standard Microsoft Teams meeting, but let's see what we can do. I'm clicking the TeamFleck icon and the TeamFleck meeting agenda just pops up instantly. And I'm clicking present Adele's latest review. And if I click present right here, look, this is the performance review that we've been working on since the beginning of this video. And if I scroll all the way down, we, I will reach the nine box grid that we just made. And this is just a great way to discuss the performance reviews. Now, right here is the nine box grid we prepared. Now, you may not want to share the nine box grid with the employee. You, want, you might want to keep it private and you can definitely toggle this setting on and off. But again, this is just a brilliant way to discuss your performance reviews with your employees. Now, let's leave this meeting. Uh, let me show you how you can access the nine box grid through the user page as well. I'm going into user search and I'm going into Adele's profile. I'm clicking Adele. And if I scroll down, once again, I can see the nine box evaluation right here. And if I click on it, I not only see the nine box grid that we just made, but I can see all the previous nine box grid evaluations as well. Simply put, this is just a brilliant way to keep track of your employees' progress through time. Now, this is not just a place where we view results. We can edit them as well. Or we can click Create New Evaluation and create another nine box grid evaluation. And let's place Adele somewhere on the grid again. And once I click Save, it should pop up on the right like so. Now, I strongly recommend that you use these nine box grid results throughout an employee mentorship program from the beginning to the end. Based on where an employee ranks on the nine box grid, you can start forming mentor and mentee relationships and pairing people up. Now, last but certainly not least, I want to share with you the reports section. 
I'm going into Teamflex Admin Center, selecting Reports, and then going into Reviews. And once again, we're going to be scrolling all the way down for the nine box grid part. But look at all the different data we have, such as average scores by department or score distributions overall. And right here, we have the information on the nine box grid results. Now, as you can see, I've only given two people the position of high potentials. And if we click right here, we can see that those are Alex and Grady. But overall, that's how the reporting section works. And that brings us to the end of this use case scenario. We hope you found it helpful and feel free to reach out to our staff with any questions you might have. Teamflect, build teams that deliver.